little preview of the web page that will be hosted on the throttle. Be able to see locos, function sets, groups, icons, and if your Wi-Fi is configured, which will all be individually manageable from the top. Been working on the locos editor, so you'll have your main loco list for each config file that's currently stored on the throttle. Be able to add more, edit and delete existing. This will be the loco editor, so you can change all your functions. Each function button is draggable, so you can customize the UI on the throttle. And you'll be able to drag rows about as well. You can have four buttons per row, and they'll automatically resize to how many you've got. Clicking on a function button gives you some quick options. This is the function ID which you can just change up and down to. This is whether the function's latching or momentary. And clicking the little green tick will change the label. This little bit here gives you some extra options. So you can have the label for pressed and for idle. You can change the colors. And then if you've got some icons, you can apply those as well. So here I can do the horn and the button will be white with no label. Click and apply and then that will give you a little preview of what's available. And then these will work so you can drag in new buttons, new rows and if you wanted to delete a button or a row you can drag it back to the bin as well. But it's all still early at the moment. 